Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's May 3rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. A very interesting week after several weeks in a row and a couple of months of data in a row suggesting the economy might be heating up again. This week, we got some uh, dovish comments from the Fed and then a jobs report that showed uh, maybe some cooling. What, uh, what, how did that market react? Yeah, all eyes were definitely on the uh, on the FOMC this week as they wrapped up uh, Wednesday afternoon um, and did leave uh, rates unchanged as expected. But as as you mentioned, uh, you know, commentary got uh, got rates moving in a, in a kind of positive direction since Wednesday afternoon. Uh, so since the uh, since the FOMC meeting, uh, which uh, you know we really accelerated this morning um, after a, a weaker than expected non-farm payroll number uh, survey uh, for the measure was uh, was to increase uh, an increase of 240,000 jobs, uh, but only 175,000 were reported, uh, which is really the first miss since October of last year. And really, probably the biggest miss uh, by magnitude in, in quite a while. So, Treasuries and Munis have really been uh, been rallying uh, all day long, um, and week over week, ten-year uh, Treasury is lower by about fifteen basis points, and thirty-year Treasury is lower by about ten basis points uh, as we're heading into the afternoon. Uh, on the Muni side, uh, most of our yield action has taken place today post uh, post non-farm payroll. Uh, rates were on the tax exempt side were fairly quiet uh, for most of the week, with the curve shifting lower by about one to three basis points. But uh, but we're expecting bumps to the curve in the range of five to eight basis points uh, by this afternoon. So uh, so you know a solid uh, move week over week on the muni side of things. Um, but that's not uh, not unexpected um, with fund flows positive again this week, over five hundred million. Coming into tax exempt bond funds, uh, as as reported by Lipper, um, which brings the year to date inflows to almost 10 billion. Where I think we're just over nine and a half billion. Uh, so it really isn't uh, isn't surprising to see the outperformance that we've seen, uh, especially we uh, recently. Um, so we've we've seen pretty muted trading volume this week. Uh, bid wanted volume was very low and manageable, uh, and and unsurprisingly, uh, total volume on the supply side. Uh, was down more than 50%. Uh, total volume was about 6.8 billion. Uh, a lot of the issuers uh, the, were avoiding the FOMC week and, and accelerated to last week or postponed uh, to next week. So we had about 6.8 billion uh, in new issue supply this week, and it was pretty concentrated with deals uh, like Novant Health and uh, Port Authority uh, and even Texas A&M University. Um, but BAM was pretty active. Uh, we had more than 120 million are insured, uh, including $20 million deals for both Mifflin County School District in Pennsylvania, which was priced by Raymond James and Monterey Park uh, Water uh, in California, which was priced by uh, Samuel Ramirez. And as you mentioned, for next week, we're back up to $11.5 billion, I think, on the calendar, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, a couple of larger transactions. I know BAM is looking at some transactions. They've been approved for insurance, uh, waiting to see how that plays out in the market. What are you going to be watching on the new issue calendar? Yeah, like you said, over $12 billion, uh scheduled to price. It'll definitely be a nice heavy week. Um, so we're hoping that the uh, the momentum continues. Uh, but BAM, uh, we've got our rate on our radar for next week, $140 million deal for Garden Grove Public Finance Authority uh, in California, which is scheduled to be priced by Stiefel. And then also a, a $48 million Clay County Board of Ed in Florida, which is expected to be priced by Raven James, among uh, several other uh, several other transactions. So it should be a, a fairly active week at BAM. Yeah, I'm just going to quote a couple other things we heard about the market this week. Uh, two really interesting quotes. David Wessel, who's now at the Brookings Institution, former uh, reporter for the uh, um, Wall Street Journal, said, these were the numbers Jerome Powell was looking for. Um, and so, you know, a little Star Wars reference there. But, uh, you know, as he's been talking the last couple of weeks about uh, trying to keep the idea of a soft landing on the table, this does put that uh, back to the forefront for a lot of people in the market as, as they look forward. The other uh, thing to quote is uh, Joe Mysack was on in the Munis and Focus segment on Bloomberg Radio earlier this morning on Friday. We're going to post that on BAM's uh, LinkedIn page over the weekend. But Joe wrote a couple of times this week about the fact that through the first three months, uh, first four months, first third of the year, 
Um, Muni volume is up 33% year over year. It's been really strong. And as you mentioned, uh, mutual fund cash flows are still supporting some of that demand. And we're moving into the period, Joe, Joe noted, in June, July of very heavy uh, cash flows being returned to Muni investors from issuers uh, in terms of uh, maturing bonds and principal payments. So that strong demand in the, the Muni uh, new issue market should continue uh, for the foreseeable future in the next few weeks. Well, thanks again for your time this week, Brian. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.